He'll seek out and destroy any ball he sees. Whatever the ball, Pierre wants it. He's absolutely obsessed. Andy has three children from a previous marriage, and Pierre's behaviour is starting to cause a big rift in the family. We can't all go to the park together along with Pierre because Pierre will go absolutely nuts. <laughs> you kind of start playing basketball as we've done before, and then suddenly you've got to stop. Charlotte goes off with Pierre to calm him down, so you end up just spending this time separated rather than together. He's adorable. <laughs> What's the deal with him? We have what I would call an obsession with balls. He's barking, just going crazy. And he's going crazy to get to the ball, to yeah, play with it, yeah. or to annihilate it? I think it's more a destructive behaviour, because when he gets the ball, he's trying to rip the patches off the ball. Okay. So suddenly that's a very different behaviour to he's actually trying to almost tear it apart. If you've got a dog barking and lunging at you, it doesn't look great. So how is this affecting family life? I have three children from another marriage, uh, right. so they, they come over sort of every other weekend. My boys love to play football, it's one of their favourite ah. things to do. Uh, he would go crazy inside, like up against the doors, so we then stop them from playing football. So it's really, really impacting family life. Now she's got the lowdown on Pierre, Victoria wants to see him in action. Let's get the ball and then I just want to see if you could kick it round between you and let's just see what he does. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right, no. but no, just, just try and guess it then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He's a good football player, isn't he? Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, that ball didn't last long. No, did it didn't it? last long. Oh my god, that's just in two seconds. Oh, slimy, <laughs> slimy. I mean, your kids can't play out here. No. Next, Victoria's keen to see the extent of Pierre's ball obsession when it comes to walks in the park. So is this your main park that you walk him in? Yeah. With the football pitches? Yes. Yes. <laughs> OK, what do you do to stop him doing this? Just try and get past as quickly as possible. He were playing football over there. Yes. Oh, my Lord. He backs up like he wants to launch. You don't have that lead hard, then he's gonna go. He's gonna go. Let's take him back now, because he's really riled up, and I'm worried about that breathing of his. Come on. What toys does he have? He has a couple of balls. They're dog balls. You allow him to play with the balls, which is the dog toys, yeah. right? Um, but you don't want him to play when your kids are playing the football. Yeah, yeah, as long as they're his own. Do you see what I'm trying to get at here? That we're probably confusing him by giving him access to some balls yes! and, 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 no, and no access to the other ones. You can't say, yeah, you can have these, but you can't have those, right? Yeah. We know that French bulldogs, they are all dog. Mm. It's instinct to chase. When animals chase things, they get a flood of adrenaline and also the neurotransmitter dopamine, which is like pleasure. When they grab bite, then they have a release of oxytocin, which calms them down. Not only are you like trying to go against instinct, you're actually trying to fight high. Somehow, we have to change his focus away from the ball onto something that he really loves too. <laughs> Here we go. Pierre loves balls and he loves playing games. So we're gonna use that. And so, but what happens if we replace that love of footballs onto something else? That's why I say, if you want your dog to stop chasing footballs, you have to like detox. But it doesn't mean to say that you can't take a toy like this. And now you start playing with this. So if I throw this to you, oh good, you're really good. <laughs> okay, throw it back to me. This becomes his reward. If you play by our rules, you get a great game of tug. Yeah. So how I want to start it is that I'm going to bring him out here and I want you to just go, hi Pierre, and I want you to start throwing this between each other. Just play with it, okay? okay sounds okay, good. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Wait, go get it. Good boy. You stop playing like this with him. Ooh. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> With Pierre's attention on the tug toys, Victoria introduces the football. By the way, there's a football down here. <laughs> I just want you to know that. Oh. It goes away. Game stops. I'd like you to go and get the football. You and I, we're gonna play. That's okay, yeah. Look at that. Fabulous, fantastic. Here we go. Start playing again. Here we go. Oh. Woo! So if he starts to do all of that jumping and the grabbing, ball goes away, game stops. Oh, well, that's boring. Do you see? Now the test will be is when we take it outside. That's good. For part two of feisty Frenchy Pierre's ball training, Victoria's decided to step things up a gear and they've headed to the park. You, Charlotte, are going to play with Pierre whilst we, Andy and I, play football. Okay. But how, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. 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 Confident? Good. I would like you just to play with him. Woof. I will grab Woof. the uh, Woof. football at some point. Woof. Good boy. He's seen it. Good I just boy. saw him. Did you see that? Beautiful. Hey, let's play. There you go. I want him to see it. Pierre! Look. Good oh. boy. Did you see that? That's crazy. Did you see that? He, he was just like, looked and... Oh, nobody prefers that game. Yeah. Good boy. Amazingly, Pierre is enjoying his new toy so much that he loses interest in the football altogether. Good boy! <laughs> Good boy! And with practice, eventually Pierre should be able to join the games without spoiling the party. Did you ever think you'd see him do that? No, never, ever. I can't believe he looked at it so many times and his attention was straight back on me. You allowed him to look, which was kind of nice, and then you're like, Pierre, yeah, it was just beautiful. Two or three times a day, practice for two or three minutes. Yeah. That's it, okay? So, we've done a lot of work. How do you feel about what we've done? For him, to be out there with the football there, and he's playing with us. He's, it's just incredible. It's a little bit like version 2.0, Pierre, <laughs> which is quite nice. All I have left to say is continue working, which I know you will, and uh, best of luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you. A few weeks later, Victoria's back to check in on the troubled team Pierre's progress. Hello. Hello. Oh. So looking forward <laughs> to seeing him again. How's it been going? Really good, actually. Yeah, we? yeah really good. We've managed to have him out in the garden, completely off lead. Uh, me playing with him and the kids kicking the football up against the wall. Oh, no. Yeah. How do your kids feel about it? It's really good, just being able to integrate him into the, you know, the play process, really. Well, that's what you wanted. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.